I have a video that you've probably seen on DCID de uh, definitions. What I want to do right now is I just want to explain these definitions and explain some different ways that you can teach DCID, the definition portion to your flight. First and foremost, we need to understand that there is a lesson plan on DCID. It does not have all the verbiage for DCID in it. What it does have is it does have the definitions, which you need to have memorized verbatim. Dress, what is dress, what is cover, what is interval, what is difference. You need uh, distance. You need to have that information memorized to where you can spit it out. Just like verbiage for any other lesson, you need to have that memorized. However, the verbiage for going around the flights, that's all that is, is a handout that you're gonna get prior to going into MTIS. So that is not gonna be in the lesson plan. What is gonna be in the lesson plan as well is what classes we have to teach DCID with. So we need to understand that if we're teaching forward march fly hole to the rear, left flank, or right flank for evaluation, you will always teach DCID with that. Or if you're not being evaluated, the very first time you teach one of those lessons, you need to teach it to your flight, DCID to your flight. Normally that's gonna be forward march flight hold. You're gonna to have to teach forward march flight hold before you can leave for your processing appointments. With that being said, you'll have to teach DCID along with that when you're not being evaluated. But let's get into dress cover, interval, and distance. In the video, you saw me use my lesson plans to explain the definitions for DCID. There's not, that's not the only way that you can do this. I've seen instructors bring trainees up and they'll have trainees lined up uh, and they will use them to define dress and then they'll change their positions and they'll use them to define interval, distance, cover, all of that stuff. I personally don't like to use trainees. Anytime I bring a trainee up there, I just feel like they're gonna do something silly when they're up here. And so I don't wanna take a chance that my class is gonna go downhill because a trainee is up here being goofy or doing something and I have my back turned to him and I don't see him. For that reason, I use lesson plans when I discuss DCID. So I'm gonna stick with that as we move along here in this lesson right here. I have my lesson plans down here and in the video, you saw me rotate my lesson plans to face this way. And I said, I want you to imagine that this is a trainee and he's facing this direction. The reason I did that is because we're talking about alignment. And when we're talking about alignment, if I had my, it, my lesson plans right here and I stood up on this side of my lesson plans to talk about alignment, if you're my flight and you're looking at me from the angle that you're looking from, from, at me, you can't see alignment at this point right here. What you're seeing is you're seeing the space in between here and there. And I'm not talking about interval or distance, so I don't want to show you space. I want to show you alignment. And for that reason, I'm going to use my lesson plans as a visual aid. I'm going to say, trainees, I want you to imagine my lesson plans as a trainee and he's facing this direction. I'm going to set a stage. I'm going to turn my head back to the audience and then I'm going to use the verbiage from the lesson plan. Dress is the alignment of individuals placed side by side. I'm going to pause. I'm going to look back. I'm going to give them that demonstration or that, that view that they need. Then I'm going to break my stage. I'm going to rotate my LT, LPs back. And then I'm going to talk about cover. I'm going to say, hey, I want you to imagine my trainee right here is now facing you. Once again, if we're talking about alignment, because that's what cover is referring to is alignment. Once again, I can't show cover from this angle right here because you're seeing space at that point. You're seeing alignment at this point. So I'm going to stand in the exact same spot. All I did was turn nine degrees to right. Set my stage once again, I would say cover is the alignment of individuals placed one behind another. If I wanted to at this point, I could personalize a little bit. I could say something along the lines of, it's like playing hide and seek. We have to be hidden behind the training in front of us. I could show an example of what not, what not being covered down looks like and then fix it by going, showing what cover is like if I wanted to personalize a little bit. If I was using trainees to do this, I would need to arrange them in a way for dress that my trainees out here in the audience could see my trainees lined up and then rotate them again to show cover. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is interval. Interval, once again, is spacing. It's a spacing in between the individuals placed side by side. I've seen instructors show this wrong a lot. And what they'll do is they'll come up to this side of their lesson plan and they'll talk about it. And then when they get to the, the dress right dress where I have to show my spacing, they have to put the wrong arm up which now we're showing training something wrong. For that reason, remember, I was here for dress, 
here for cover. Now for my last two, I can simply move up to the right side of my lesson plans as I'm seeing them or the left side of the lesson plan as my audience is viewing it. Come up here and I'll say, the interval is the spacing in between individuals placed side by side. There are two types of interval. The first is close interval, which is an approximate four inch distance. Understand as I'm showing this, if I'm gonna demonstrate something in any class, I'm gonna demonstrate it the exact same way I would expect a trainee to perform it, which means I'm not gonna bring my arm up slow. I'm gonna bring it up with snap. And when I bring it down, I'm gonna bring it down with snap. If I sidestep, or if I choose to take short shopping steps over to get my normal interval, however I do it, it needs to be the, done the exact same way a trainee would do it. Then I'll say the next type of interval is normal interval. Normal interval is an approximate one arm's length between me and the trainee to my left. I'll set my stage. With snap, I'll bring my arm up. And as I bring my arm up, I don't want my arm too high. I don't want my arm too low. I want to make sure my thumb is along the forefinger. So the exact same way I'm going to expect the trainees to learn this in a future class is the exact same way I want to demonstrate that for the trainees. I'll show it to them for a second, and then I'll bring my arm back down. Now for distance, trainees, I want you to imagine my lesson plans as a trainee, and he's facing this direction once again. Remember, I just showed space right here. Now all I have to simply do is turn 90 degrees to the left, and once again, you see space for distance. So now I'm gonna spit out the verbiage again from the lesson plan. Distance is an approximate 40 inch distance that's measured from my chest to the trainee in front of me's back. I could show examples if I wanted to of somebody who didn't have their distance by being too far or too short. However, I want to do that if I wanted to personalize it or I could just keep it simple and I could just use the verbiage from the lesson. But if I was going to use my lesson plans, this is this perfect way to use my lesson plans right here. If I wanted to bring trainees up, I could do that as well. Neither one of them is the right way. Either one of them will work, but they are just different ways that you can show dress, cover, interval, and distance. And I have to show dress, cover, interval, and distance the definitions to my flight prior to moving around the formations and telling what their responsibilities are in those formations. Once I'm done with dress, cover, interval, and distance, the very next thing that should happen is you should tell your first, remember you're teaching to your trainees a line formation, you've got your first two on their knee. So the very next thing that's gonna happen is I'll say first two up, turn 90 degrees to the right. And then I'm gonna grab my lesson plans because I'm about to go into application and I don't want my lesson plans to, to be around to I trip somebody up, I'm going to take my lesson plans and I'm going to get them out of the way so that as my flight is performing for March flight home, left flank, right flank, or to the rear, they're not going to run into my tripping hazard here.